Good morning. I'm Glenn Young, and we are looking at the Audio Research Corporation VT80 power amplifier. This uh, particular amp is a member of their Foundations line, although it uses much of the technology that Audio Research uses in the reference series. Looking at the front plate, the only thing that's here is the power button, but you can see on top of the amplifier the tube complement, which is the two driver tubes, both with dampers, which are supplied by the factory and the four KT120 power output tubes. The transformers at the back of the chassis, and you'll notice that each tube has ventilation holes placed around it so that they all cool at an equal rate. As we turn the amplifier around, you can see that the chassis is very generous for the amount of equipment that's here. And on the back panel, we have a variety of interesting things. Um, to the left-hand side, of course, we've got the uh, balanced XLR and the unbalanced inputs and we have jacks for uh, 4 and 8 ohm speakers. We have a switch here which is a defeat for the automatic shutoff. The auto shutoff basically turns the amp off after a certain amount of time uh, if you are not using it. This saves battery life and power. Below, right here, we have a timer which uh, records the number of hours that are on your current tube set and uh, tells you when it's time to replace them, basically. In the center, we have the power fuse, and below it, a 20 amplifier, 20 amp input jack. Now, no, most people don't have 20 amp circuitry in their home, so basically what they've done here is they supply this with an adapter cord, uh, which uses the 20 amp input on the amplifier, but has a more common 15 amp uh, plug on the far end. There is a jack right here, which can be used to program the amplifier with a full house control system, such as a Crestron or something like that. We've got a switch that switches between the balanced and the unbalanced inputs. And uh, below that, we've got a socket here for 12 volt input. Uh, if you want to use the turn on signal from your preamplifier or processor. And again, on the right, we've got the same balanced and unbalanced inputs and four and eight ohm outputs. So this is really a heavy-duty amplifier. It's well-designed, and uh, it sounds wonderful. Uh, it's not inexpensive, but if uh, you're the type of person that buys something and keeps it for years or even decades, this is worth considering. Goodbye.